silent before him. Welcome to the Greater Hines Street Missionary Baptist Church. Those who are watching us by social media, we're just so excited about the season that we find ourselves in. Amen. 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 Let's get all excited. Yes, sir. For unto you is 
born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And it shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, all together, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth the peace with the will of the Lord in heaven. Amen. Amen.
Because all the teachers want to keep all them safe, Father God, while they do their job. Father God, we want you to bless our nation, Father God, and spend my whole life. Father God, we want you to bless our pastor, Father God, for the words you want to do in his mouth, Father God, to keep this in the book.
stand in this holy place one more time. Oh God, we pray now as we approach this moment, hide me your servant in the shadow of yonder's cross. Grant now that I might decrease so that the real preacher can come. Thank you right now for what you're going to do. And all of the people of God said together, Amen. Amen. Thank you, choir. Thank you, brethren, for the devotion. All of you uh, who are watching us by social media, uh, we greet you in the name of the only name that can save. And that is in the all-powerful name of Jesus our Christ. I want to share with you this morning, uh, one week out from Christmas, uh, second Luke, the second chapter, and I just want to use as our launching verse that 12th verse, that 12th verse of Luke, the second chapter. It has already been read responsibly in your hearing. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Amen. I'll read it again. Yes, and this shall be a sign unto you. Yes. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, Lying Lying. in a manger. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. I want to use as a thought this morning unwrapping the gift. Unwrapping the gift. Can you repeat that thought after us? Unwrapping Unwrapping the gift. In this season, we see that God and man met together here at Bethlehem. And in the taking on of flesh, the gift was being wrapped. The Father prepared it. The Spirit formed it. The Son assumed it. But Mary carried it. And so in so doing, we see that the invisible had become visible. And the abstract was now made concrete. And the intangible had become tangible. He who was born, who had an eternal generation with the Father, in the bosom of the Father, now has a temporal generation in time. He who had his birth in Bethlehem has come to be born in the hearts of men. But my challenge to you this morning is what use would it have been for him to be born a thousand times in Bethlehem and not be born in our hearts? What, what would it matter? Because when we look at, at John 1 and 12, but as many as received him, to them gave me power to become the sons of God, even to them who believe on his name. Are y'all with me? And so the question now becomes is, uh, how are we to be born? How are we to be wrapped? In light of the five births, biblical birth, that is the saw birth, the side birth, the sack birth, the savior birth, and the saint birth. The saw birth was when God said, let us make man in his image, in our image and likeness. That's the saw birth. But then the side birth, when God uh, performed the first servant, put Adam to sleep, and reached in his side, and got a rib, and 
made woman. Yeah. Then he looked at it and said, bone of my bone, yeah. flesh of my flesh. Yeah. But with a few alterations. Oh. Right. <laughs> and the sight birth is that intimacy with the man and woman, even Adam and Eve got together yeah. and conceived right. the sons yeah. and put it what the uh, medical providers call it the placenta, which really the sack birth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then, but the Savior, but this immaculate birth that we are here today about the immaculate birth. But then here we come, those who were uh, born and shaped in iniquity. But if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All men, all things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Yeah. Are we already are we together so far? Yeah. So then in this unwrapping, in this presentation, the unwrapping, is the greatest gift yeah. that we have is God so loved the world that he gave. Yeah. And you see, good journalists, those writing journalistic stories, will always uh, in their uh, presentation in their stories want to tell us, the reader, who, what, when, where, and how. A good journalist. And so the question is, is when you receive a gift, who is giving the gift? That's what you want, because y'all know how you do in the workplaces and churches and your, in your organization. Y'all pull names. And then when you pull names, you want to know who's giving. Yeah. Because we pull names in the past. Yeah. And sometimes you have some stingy folk pulling your name. Yeah. And, and you want some giving folks yeah. to pull your name. Yeah. And so then when they start unwrapping yeah. these gifts, yeah. you want to know who's pulling your name. Because yeah. so you've given them good gifts. Yeah. And the most stingy one yeah. going to give you get it. Yeah. And you get word yeah. about who pulled in your name. Yeah. And so you begin to unwrap yeah. the gift. Yeah. And you're giving them a nice coat, yeah. a diamond ring, yeah. and, eat, and also a mink coat. Yeah. And then they pull your name. Yeah. And this is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> Glory of the only 
begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Is God all right? And so in this greatest gift, why did he come? He came because God had created this beautiful, pristine God and put him in this environment. And so now this created creature, this commanded creature, uh, broke the communication with God yeah. and caused a conflict with the Creator. Yeah. And as a result, caused a separation, making this gift necessary. Yeah. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. 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 But I'm so glad. I'm going to may as well just come out swinging. Yeah. That uh, oh, the perspective and the point I want to make today, this morning, is yeah. number one, a gift that was given. Yeah. And secondly, it was a timely gift. God does everything in this season. You may get things messed up and you're trying to hurry God. You can't hurry God. You just have to wait. Because we see little snapshots. But he sees the whole picture. We see the corner. But he sees around the corner. We see the hill, but he sees over the hill. And so it's a timely gift. And not only that, it was uh, it's a lifetime for us to unwrap the gift. Yeah. It takes a lifetime, yeah. thirdly, for us to unwrap the gift. Mm -hmm. And what about the gift? How much does it cost? Mm -hmm. It was a priceless gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and secondly, when we receive the gift, yeah. it's designed for us to give it away. Yeah. Whatever God, and then it takes us to another level that whatever God gives us, then we should be, we should Bless us. Yeah. It's not designed to keep it to be stingy. Yeah. You can't receive anything with your hand balled up. Yeah. I've noticed yeah. in my preaching and teaching across centuries, across decades, mm -hmm. that that the, the givers, the givers in church always have something. Yeah. God always bless the givers. Yeah. And not always they need, but it's the stingy ones. Yeah. The, 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 the little the, the gradual, the scrooges yeah. in the church. Yeah. Always behind the eight ball. Yes. Always needing. Always in the back. Of the, always something for something. Yes. But I dare you to be a giver. Yes. A giver is a happy person. Yes. A giver it is one that can, can see beyond. They can see God in every situation. Yes. It's designed to be given away. And then lastly, mm -hmm. and I can, I can say I close now. Right. It, it, it reaches the lives of everybody. Right. When you show up, yeah, yeah. the giver shows up, they glad they met you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you when you when you show up, when the giver that lover shows up, uh, somehow or another you've impacted their lives and made an impression on their yeah, life. Yeah. Isn't God all right? Y'all yeah. yeah. see it with me? Yeah. But then I like this this, but here is this book that we need to unwrap. Mm -hmm. Every day of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hebrew 10 and 7 mm -hmm. says, uh, and, and Jesus is saying this, uh, then said I, lo, I come yeah. in the volume of the book. Yeah. It is written of yeah. me yeah. to do thy will, O oh Lord. Yeah. This is what we have to unwrap yeah. every day of our lives. Yeah. And so my sisters and brothers, since it is written of him, we, have, we should have peace every morning. Yeah. New mercies every morning. Yeah. My, my uh, late friend Bishop Green said, Every time I turn around, yeah. every time I turn around, yeah. he said, Lord is, is blessing me. Yeah. Every time I turn around, I have peace in my heart. Yeah. Every time I turn around, I have joy. Yeah. Every time I turn around, I have love in my heart. Yeah. I have faith. I have kindness. I have gentleness. I have meekness and understanding. Yeah. Every time I turn around, because what I'm doing, I am not unlocking, I'm unwrapping the gifts. Yeah. That's what he says. So don't, let us not be an embarrassment to the body of Christ. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed to the body of Christ. Because every because he's been so good to us. Yeah. Oh, I wrapped him this morning when I woke up this morning. Yeah. I said, thank you, Lord. Mercy this morning. Yeah. Yeah. doing all right, yeah. the yeah. gift yeah. every morning. Yeah. I said, thank you, Lord. Yeah. What an awesome God we serve. Yeah. But then these 
wise men, these, the shepherds, when he came, uh, we see that uh, he came. This is not about little Christmas stories. Uh, this is not about shopping. He came uh, as a babe in a manger. Uh, uh, there were these shepherds, men who, who he appeared to. Uh, not the big boys downtown, the St. Hedrick Council, you know, are the ones who were in the high class seminaries, the ones who uh, were dressing in fine linen. But he came to these shepherds who were unceremoniously unclean. They were the lowest rung of society. That's who he came to. He, he came, he came veiled uh, in a baby. Yeah. But when he come back, yeah. uh oh, when he coming back, oh, yeah. oh he'll be unveiled. Yeah. Yeah. King is king, yeah. and, and Lord is Lord. Yeah. Right? And, and then when he when he came uh, the first time, a few saw him. Yeah. But when he come back again, yeah. every eye will see yeah. him. Yeah. When he came the first time, that was just a star. Yeah. Uh, that guided them to where the babe was. Yeah. Yeah. But all oh, when he come the second time, yeah. the stars would fall from their silver socket. Yeah. And then history would roll up yeah. like a stroke yeah. Yeah. when he come the second time. Yeah. Yeah. But then when he come the second time, he came first as uh, as as, a, as shepherds yeah. abiding in the field yeah. by night. Yeah. Oh, but when he come the next time, yeah. oh, we all going to see him. Yeah. When he came the first time, yeah. there was no room yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah. But when he come the second time, yeah. his glory yeah. was going to fill the place. Yeah. Well, it was a silent night, yeah. a holy night. Yeah. But we don't need no more light from yeah. the sky. Yeah. Because Jesus yeah. is the light.
in me this secret program. This witness protection program. You go and tell it. We have an obligation to tell it by our lives. By our walk, our daily walk. You're telling it. Because they see you. The children are watching you. They're watching me. They're watching us. And so we tell it with our lives and our walk and our daily com comportment. And then as a result, you were behind the street. Members, you may not know it, but you're the only Bible that they will read. You're the only Bible that others will read. And so as we unwrap this, this Christmas season, have a spirit of love. We owe him all. Because he's already given the best. He knows when we have given the best. He knows when we have preached the best. People know when you prepared, when you when you got your lesson out. They know us. And when we when we walk it up and down the street, they know us. By the way that we live, by the way that we walk, by the way that we are unwrapping the gift. It's a lifetime venture how we are.